The Araby Rig is a kite aerial photography camera platform that was intended to be the simplest rig possible. I was close to achieving that goal when I started to add a feature here and an extra functionality there and ended up with this thing. The results seemed to be a pretty smart and versatile rig, so I decided to mass produce them, which means make like six of them. This video is about how I did that. The structural frame is aluminum, and I started with these bars of 6061 aluminum, 1 16th inch thick and an inch and a half wide. There are two pieces to each rig, and I started by chopping off blanks with a saber saw. The ends were deburred with a 400 grit belt on the sander. I made a CAD drawing of the parts originally to send the laser cutting and water jet houses to get them manufactured, but it cost way too much. That CAD drawing came in really handy for marking the blanks for drilling. Glue stick held the paper on for marking with a punch, and then the paper can be easily removed a few minutes later before the glue dries. First I made a permanent template for marking during subsequent manufacturing runs. I just drilled a 1 16th inch hole regardless of the actual hole size, and then used that metal template to mark other blanks for real drilling. One newly punched blank went at the top of a stack of five fresh blanks, which I clamped or bolted together. This stack got two clamps, and then I drilled a hole for a bolt in the middle to make sure nothing moved. There are five different sized holes to drill, and I started the big ones with a pilot divot from a smaller bit, and then drilled through all six pieces. This is going to be a quarter inch hole for camera tripod bolts. When the drilling was all done, but while the stacks were still clamped together, I evened up the ends with an 80 grit belt on the sander. I also rounded the corners. Each piece got to bird with a 400 grit belt. And then there was one more thing to cut. One of the parts needs three slots to allow adjusting the rig balance, and that can't be done with a drill. So I made a jig to hold the piece and guide a router. Start and end holes were already drilled, and a 3 32nd inch single flute upcut aluminum cutting router bit made quick work of the slots.
I could have stacked a few pieces for cutting slots, but I have a little more control when I do one at a time. Then a quick to burr. And each piece gets a final hand cleanup with 400 grit paper. Now all that remains is to bend each piece. This is easy, except that it has to be done pretty precisely, so holes match up and the final shape is correct. Also, you don't want to bend too far because it starts to get brittle when you bend it back. I used a pretty big bend radius so the metal would maintain its resilience. All that's left to do is assemble the rig. Here are all the pieces to bolt it together with the red 3D printed parts. Maybe I should make a video about how to do that too. <laughs>